Hey everyone, welcome back. Ready for another deep dive. Always ready to dive in. What are we exploring today? Well, this time, we're tackling something I think we can all relate to. It's all about those life skills, those essential things that, well, maybe school didn't quite prepare us for. Oh, I think we've all been there, feeling a little lost in the real world, like, wait, they didn't teach me how to do this. Exactly. And that's why we're diving into Nahit Mohan's book, What School Doesn't Teach You. It's packed with insights and strategies for thriving beyond the classroom. Sounds right up our alley. So what are some of the big takeaways? What did Mohan really want to drive home? Well, right off the bat, he dives into the importance of emotional intelligence. You know, EQ. EQ. Got it. I can already see where this is going. Understanding and managing your emotions, being able to empathize with others. It's huge, right? Absolutely. And he doesn't just talk about it in a theoretical way. Mohan actually shares this gripping story about an entrepreneur who almost lost a massive deal because they completely misread a client's emotions during a crucial meeting. Oh, wow. That's a powerful example of how EQ can make or break you, especially in high stakes situations. You can have all the technical skills in the world, but if you can't navigate the emotional landscape, it can all fall apart. It's so true. It really highlights how these soft skills like emotional intelligence are just as important, if not more so than those hard skills we often focus on. But OK, let's move on to another big one. Networking. Ah, uh, networking. I think a lot of people shudder when they hear that word. It can feel so forced and transactional, like a game you have to play. I know, right? But Mohan actually flips the script on how we think about networking. He frames it as building genuine connections, providing value to others, and creating a supportive community around you. It's more about building meaningful relationships. That makes so much more sense. It's not about collecting business cards or trying to climb some social ladder. It's about connecting with people on a human level, sharing ideas and supporting each other's journeys. Exactly. It's about fostering a sense of community. Mm. Now, even with top-notch EQ and a fantastic network, we all know that life throws curveballs. We're going to make mistakes. And that's where Mohan's perspective on failure really resonated with me. I was just about to say, he has a really interesting take on failure. It's not something to fear or avoid, but rather an opportunity for growth. Right. He actually encourages us to embrace failure as a necessary part of learning and development. He even lays out this framework called the failure dissection method. You basically analyze your mistakes, figure out what went wrong, and then most importantly, extract the lessons you can apply moving forward. Turning setbacks into stepping stones? That's brilliant. It's so easy to get caught up in the negative emotions of failure, but if we can shift our perspective, we can actually use those experiences to become more resilient and resourceful. It's all about that growth mindset. Speaking of which, that leads perfectly into another crucial skill Mohan highlights. Adaptability. In today's world, things are constantly changing, and being able to adjust to new situations, new technologies, new ways of thinking is absolutely essential. Think about it. How many times have you had to adapt in your own life? Maybe a sudden career shift or a new technology that changed how you work, or even just navigating those unexpected life events that come out of nowhere. All the time, right. And I think that ability to adapt, to roll with the punches and learn as you go is only becoming more important. Mohan really drives that point home. But let's get into the practical stuff now. He also dives deep into personal finance, which honestly, I wish they'd taught us more about back in school. Yeah, he argues that understanding things like budgeting, investing, taxes, debt management, these should be considered basic life skills, not some advanced elective you take in college. Right. And he breaks it all down in a clear and approachable way empowering readers to take control of their financial well-being and build a solid foundation for their future. It really is about empowerment. It is. It's about giving people the tools and the knowledge they need to make informed decisions and create a more secure financial future. And it all comes back to another one of Mohan's key themes. Mm. Self-awareness. Yes. Knowing your strengths, your weaknesses, what motivates you, what drains you. It's like having a personal roadmap for navigating life. And it's not always easy to do, right? It takes some serious introspection and honest reflection to really understand yourself. But the book provides some great exercises and prompts to guide that process. And when you have that self-awareness, you can make choices that are aligned with your values and your goals. You can build a life that truly feels authentic. You can, and you will. And I think that's a really empowering message. Mm. Mohan also makes this really interesting distinction between rote learning and critical thinking. You know, we've all had those moments where we're just 
cramming information, memorizing facts without really understanding the underlying concepts. Oh, for sure. Been there, done that. Mm -hmm. But Mullen makes the case that critical thinking is crucial. It's about actively evaluating information, thinking for yourself, and not just accepting everything at face value. He even gives this practical example of how to break down a news article, looking for potential bias or hidden agendas. It's about becoming a more discerning consumer of information. Exactly. And that skill, that ability to think critically, it applies to so many areas of life, from making informed decisions to navigating complex problems to even just having more insightful conversations. It's about engaging with the world in a more thoughtful and analytical way. And of course, we can't forget the power of communication. Being able to express yourself clearly, whether you're speaking or writing, it's essential for success in every aspect of life. Absolutely. Whether you're building relationships, collaborating on projects, or just trying to get your point across in a meeting, strong communication skills are key. Mohan even highlights how effective communication can prevent misunderstandings, foster stronger connections, and help you achieve your goals more effectively. It's not just about what you say, but how you say it. It's a skill that can make all the difference. And to round out our deep dive, let's talk about time management and productivity. Mohan offers some really practical tips on this, from prioritizing tasks to setting realistic goals to minimizing distractions. It's all about maximizing your time and energy, working smarter, not harder. He even talks about the importance of creating routines and systems that work for you. It's about finding what helps you stay focused and productive so you can achieve your goals without burning yourself out. Right. It's about finding that balance. So what's the big takeaway from all of this? What's Mohan's core message, would you say? Well, I think it's that even though school may not have equipped us with all the life skills we need, it's never too late to learn and develop them. Mohan's book serves as this incredible roadmap for navigating the real world and achieving success on our own terms. It's about taking ownership of our own education, even after we leave the classroom. And it's about recognizing that learning is a lifelong journey, not something that ends with a diploma. It really is. Yeah. And it's left me thinking, if you could add one life skills class to the traditional school curriculum, what would it be? What do you think students would benefit from most? Hmm. That's a great question. So much to choose from. I think maybe a class on resilience and adaptability. Yeah, being able to bounce back from setbacks, embrace change, that's so important. It is. And those are skills that can be learned and practiced, but it takes intentionality. It's about equipping young people with the tools to navigate the ups and downs of life, the unexpected challenges, the inevitable failures, and to emerge stronger and more adaptable on the other side. I love that. Equipping them to thrive in a world that's constantly changing. What a valuable lesson that would be. Well, folks, that's a wrap on our deep dive into what school doesn't teach you. Hopefully you've gleaned some insights and maybe even some inspiration to keep learning and growing. Until next time, keep those minds engaged. And remember, it's never too late to learn those essential life skills. Keep diving. See you next time.